My name is Megan Chu. I am 23 years old and I am from Chicago, Illinois. Starting at a young age, my parents put me in many different activities, including swimming, kung fu, dance, modeling, and more. This allowed me to discover my love for dance. At the age of four, I started taking ballet, and from there, it has become a part of my life forever. It started off as a hobby, but as I got older, I began to take it more seriously. At the age of nine, I went to Chicago Multicultural Dance Center, where I was exposed to more styles of dance such as jazz, modern, and Latin. It was at this time that I realized that dance was something I wanted to pursue professionally. I took my training really seriously. There were many times where I turned down hanging out with friends or attending school events so that I would not miss my dance classes. I trained at least 40 hours a week. I attended a performing arts high school known as Shy Arts from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. After school, I would then head to my dance studio and train until 9 p.m. All this training was in preparation for getting into a good college. In addition to these long hours of training, I also assisted with creative movement and basic tap classes for six years. Through assisting, I realized I loved working with kids. Through my long hours of training, I got into one of the top 10 performing arts colleges known as Point Park University. My freshman year was a bit rough because my second semester, I was out injured. I took this time to focus on my academic classes and that summer I got surgery done on my foot. It is definitely an experience I will never forget. I remember having to learn how to walk again and that taught me not to take anything for granted and to cherish my body. I slowly worked my way back to dancing, but it was not easy. It was challenging both physically and mentally. But I'm proud of myself for working hard and pushing through that rough time. My sophomore year, I was given the wonderful opportunity to dance the lead role in Raymonda. Despite my lack of confidence in my dancing, I was extremely grateful my teacher felt confident in me to do the role. Senior year came around and I had gained my confidence back in my dancing and was ready to start auditioning for dance companies. However, while rehearsing for a show, I sprained my ankle, which led to a downfall of events from burning my skin on my ankle to having my skin get infected. This was a rough time. I was extremely upset that I would not be able to attend any of the auditions I planned on attending. Then came the lockdown, which led me to go back to Chicago and not have a proper graduation. I was really lost. I did not know what I was going to do now that I have finished school and had no job. During the pandemic, it became hard for me to stay positive about pursuing dance as a career. However, I took this time to explore other jobs in order to save up for when or if I would move once I got a dancing job. I worked in customer service and as a substitute teacher at a grammar school. I tried my best to stay in shape so when auditions came around, I felt physically and mentally prepared. I submitted my resume and dance videos to multiple dance companies and received many no's. However, with the help of one of my dance teachers from high school, she helped me connect with the artistic director of Madison Ballet. She came to watch me dance in Chicago and offered me a contract with them. And I am now happy to say that I'm dancing professionally with Madison Ballet. Everything I have done up until this point of my life has been getting to the next level of my dancing career. Being a dancer is not easy. It's almost like there's this whole lifestyle. You have to have self-discipline, determination, be enthusiastic, and the list goes on. But without these traits, dance can really affect you not only physically, but mentally. Dance has also given me many wonderful opportunities to perform and to travel to places I never imagined, including dancing halftime at a Harlem Go-Trotters game, doing a Mercedes-Benz commercial in Germany, dancing in the Chinese New Year Parade in Hong Kong, and many more. Through my resilience in my years of training and through the pandemic, I have learned to keep working hard for my dreams and goals. I have realized that everything happens for a reason. Hard work pays off and what is meant for you will happen in time. I try my best to allow new opportunities to come my way so that I can continue growing as a person. I always strive for more and never settle for less. I am so honored and proud to represent Chicago in the historic and prestigious Miss Chinatown USA pageant.